Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 6th. 2020. So hey everyone, I hope you all had a wonderful three-day weekend. You got all rested up and we're ready to tackle another week. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's prepare for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, guys, we have the bulls surging. They are pushing hard this morning. Friday, we left behind a bit of a pop and drop type pattern. Not a big surprise, just considering the volume drop off as everyone headed out for the long holiday. But now this morning, we are seeing this massive surge in markets around the world, even though we are seeing increasing coronavirus cases around the world as well. And so all of a sudden, it's as if the market is either choosing to ignore coronavirus, saying it, it's not going to affect companies, or we're in complete denial. And I'm not sure which one is actually true. One of the things that I am actually a little bit concerned about, I guess, is as we continue to push up and set new records in techs and, and the tech sector, will the coming earnings season actually be able to support these high prices? It's going to be an interesting situation to see as we continue to push up. Just think of the example that um, of all of the trouble that we've had over the last quarter um, that um, Apple is working on setting brand new all-time highs even with you know more than 100 stores closed as coronavirus continues to rally. Kind of an interesting situation and a dilemma that I'm not sure we're going to be able to fully understand until we actually get through those earnings reports. But let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we can uh, glean from this this morning. Well, first off, we have to take a look at the fact that we are still holding that downtrend break. So we broke this uptrend, we, we broke this uptrend, and then, then in the last couple of trading days, we broke that short little downtrend and we're pushing back up into a resistance level of the chart. Let's take a look at the moving averages here and see what we've got going. This morning, we're gonna be bouncing up here, giving our um, the index a full test of that 200 day moving average. And let's keep in mind that we have struggled to break through and hold that 200 day moving average prior so can we have will we have enough energy to break on through there uh, potentially supporting this little double bottom pattern and actually creating one of those w formations here in the chart um, it's a good question and i wish i knew the answer to that um, this morning but right now the bulls seem ultra confident that coronavirus doesn't matter one thing we will also be testing is this island reversal. If we can break back through this level right here, notice that we still have some resistance levels in the chart to test, but then we will be bumping back up into this island reversal pattern that was created here in early June. Now that doesn't matter quite so much here on the diamonds until we can break through that 200 day moving average and prove to hold it. But if we take a look at the SPY, SPY, we have already confidently broken back through that 200 day moving average here and we're pushing into this resistance level right here where we will be challenging that island reversal pattern. Now island reversals tend to be very, very strong patterns. And we're gonna be pushing right up into that island reversal test here this morning. Question I, I think that keeps rattling around in my head this morning is will we actually see follow through buyers after this big gap up? Or will we end up with more of a pop and drop pattern like we experienced here on uh, Friday? I, and I wish I knew the answer to that, but it's gonna be kind of interesting to see whether or not we'll be able to push on through here this morning. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is already at brand new record highs. We created those on Friday, even though we pulled back by the end of the day. Every day we're leaping in this market higher. 
there seems to be absolutely zero concern about how these companies will re be reporting in the coming season, thinking that um, coronavirus had no effect on them whatsoever. Um, interesting. But we are pushing up into a new record high levels at the open, gapping once again to those levels. Um, absolute bullishness here in the tech sector. And we're going to have, you know, Apple um, up here at new record highs, as I was mentioning, even with a bunch of stores shut down. Microsoft is also one of those major leaders breaking out to new record highs and Amazon um, in Corona land uh, is doing very very well could actually reach out to new record highs this morning let's take a look at IWM IWM is another index like the Dow that will be jumping up here to test its 200 day moving average as resistance let's keep in mind that it is still well below its 500 day moving average in the chart so kind of an interesting um interesting technical setup in the market today with um just rampant bullishness on this monday morning let's take a look at the vix the vix pulled back on friday we tested that 200 day moving average and we ended up bouncing off of that now this morning with this big leap up we're we're likely going to be gapping um, down below that 200 day moving average or right at that 200 day moving average. It'll be interesting to see whether or not we find follow through buyers and actually um, see that VIX continuing to drop or if we see another pushback by the bears um, or an unwillingness of traders to buy at these prices. So it'll be interesting to watch, but keep an eye on that. The VIX um, diminished substantially on Friday and it has that possibility that we could break this low and maybe resume that downtrend um, here in the VIX that we were experiencing all through the last April, May, and June time period. Will we break down below that and actually push down into a new level of, uh, of the VIX? Let's take a look at T2122. Interestingly enough, T2122 on Friday at the gap up open, gapped up, clear up into here. And you can see ended up pulling back by the end of the day substantially with that selling. Now this morning, my guess is we're going to gap straight back up into this bearish reversal zone, suggesting that we have reached some overbought conditions here in the market. I got to tell you this all or nothing market, these big overnight gaps are getting very, very tiresome because there's really nothing you can do um, as a trader except a day trade in this market because you never know which way the this and these massive gaps are going to go but keep an eye on that as we gap up here this morning the question is going to be will we see follow through buying after that gap up open or will it be just another day where we pop and just go nowhere or we pop and actually sell off so watch that carefully this morning if we take a look at t2101 honestly this gives me a little bit of concern right here um for the last several trading days you can see we uh, the absolute market breadth has been declining so we're seeing fewer and fewer issues holding um, the market up can we get a reversal on that today will we see actually buying start to pick up here and pushing the um that breadth indicator higher i can't tell you um, that but we have actually seen more declining issues than we have advancing issues even though the market is setting new record highs and that gives me a little bit of concern just in case um, those bears decide to attack up here we could get that dramatic fall so watch that closely um, be careful not to chase this morning open until we actually see those bulls pushing through and see some market breadth coming back in here that we actually get more advancers and decliners. Let's take a look 
at our economic calendar for today and for this week. And our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot on it to be concerned about today. We, we will have ISM non-manufacturing. We have the PMI services, but don't expect that to move the market at all. We have the ISM non-manufacturing at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Again, likely not to move the market around very much um, overall, and then nothing else in the day to really move the market. We have a really light week on the calendar here, so it's going, going to be kind of uh, focused on um, news events. I believe um, we could get a lot of sensitivity to news events. So let's kind of keep an eye on that. Um, we do have a bunch of Fed speak going on this week. As you can see, we're lots and lots of Fed speak. So watch that closely. So with that, how about the earnings calendar? Well, today we have a pretty big earnings calendar, honestly, with about 35 companies reporting. But I gotta be honest, I went through those companies and really they're all, uh, really small caps. I don't expect there to be um, any major impacts. And I'm really not seeing anything that would be particularly notable on that earnings calendar today. So kind of keep that in mind. Earnings probably be a non event. Um, we're going to be subject uh, more likely to news events than anything else um, today in the market. So let's take a look at a, um, a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. And if you feel that the video was worthy, if it helped you in, a, in a, your preparation for the day, if you could also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Hopefully you've seen these videos that they are a little bit different than what you might see in other places. I avoid the hype. I avoid the prediction that most of those plays, what you see out there is kind of a general diet in the market. It's just tons and tons of prediction. Um, I want to look at the technicals and try to determine how I want to approach the market for the day. And if you find these videos helpful, um, thank you for, uh, for everyone who takes the time to leave those comments. It helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at a few stocks that are interesting and might be setting up. And a couple of these, I want to uh, make everyone aware that um, I'm involved in some of these sectors and um, I'll be watching them pretty closely. One being GLD. If we take a look at GLD, as the market rallied uh, on Friday and then began to sell off, we saw gold moving higher. And this morning, we're looking at gold possibly moving up again with the overall market. Now, I happen to hold a position here in gold. Um, I think what we're seeing is, is a major dev devaluation in the US dollar and that's just simply because of all of the money printing that's been going on. And we're, we're expecting another major round of stimulus um, coming from our government as well. So keep an eye on gold. Um, and by the way, guys, just remember that every time I show a chart in these videos, it's not a recommendation for uh, buying and selling any security. You have to go through and do your own evaluation of these charts and decide whether or not they are uh, valid trades for you. So gold holding up quite well and maybe getting ready for that next leg higher. Let's keep an eye on that. With that in mind, if we take a look at um, other stocks that are doing very, very well. Let's take a look at um, AYX. Look at this chart. Beautiful trend here in this move. A full-on breakout um, here in this chart and hold of support. And you can see we're following on through to the upside. Now, what I would suggest is you wouldn't want to chase this just yet. Maybe give this a couple, three days of resting pullback, and then there'll be an opportunity in that chart. Uh, to move that higher. So keep an eye 
on um, AYX. Um, also, keep an eye on Grubhub. Grubhub has been very, very strong and has been one of the beneficiaries of the coronavirus. And as people order um, more things from home uh, to stay home and avoid restaurants, you can see that Grubhub has been doing very, very well. This consolidation over to trend could be setting up that next opportunity to move on higher. Keep that one in mind. Grubhub might be one to be paying attention to. Um, I have been keeping an eye on Cisco. As a matter of fact, I bought Cisco and it has disappointed me to this point. We have pulled back in that chart. As you can see though, we're still holding on to this little uptrend. And as of Friday, we haven't breached that um, that break um, of the of the downtrend we haven't breached it yet I need to see those bulls stepping in and it looks like uh, good fortune is on my side this morning we're gonna push up just a little bit in Cisco so keep an eye on this this actually could produce that essential entry signal here that we're ready to push on higher after holding price support in the chart keep an eye on it may have an opportunity there um, iRobot iRobot has been an amazing run here in the chart and as you can see continues to show lots of bullishness on Friday pushed on higher with the rest of the market so we have a trend here that might be getting a little steep but as you can see we're showing lots of bullishness here in this chart any rest or consolidation in here may set up that opportunity to move on higher so keep an eye on irobot um one thing um that really has been bothering me about this market is normally um we don't see a, a market truly get a whole lot of rally going on unless we have the financials involved. Now the financials have been struggling here substantially, but let's take a look at what's going on this morning. We've got this downtrend in play and we're pushing back up into this little level right in here that was served as some support or serve as resistance. So you can, if I push that up into here, I want you to notice that we are gapping this morning up in our financials up here to test that resistance. It's going to be interesting whether or not those financials can actually break out. I've never seen a sustained market rally without the financials um, that I can remember. We need these financials kicking in here. If we can push through that resistance and actually hold it, may set up an upside opportunity here in those financials. Keep in mind, they'll be one of the first companies to report in the third quarter. Uh, third quarter here. So let's keep an eye on those. Um, there may be an anticipation of a good report and really start to move that higher. However, if we push back up here and fail, that could be a major problem and a signal for the market that maybe we aren't as confident as the market is trying to show us right now. So keep an eye on that. Um, we want to watch those closely. Another place that has been really kind of interesting to me is we have seen um, a substantial rally in some of the um, retail area. Now, Kohl's here, not a, a great example of strength, but one of the things I want to point out here is we broke through some resistance in that area. We have this very flat rally going on in here. And if that can continue to hold in here, we may see that opportunity of this starting to move on up. Watch that closely. And if we take a look at home improvement, stocks like Lowe's, very, very strong. Um, they have held up really well. And even though we saw a little bit of selling there on Friday, notice these trends um, in these charts are very, very strong. And that possibility that we could be moving on higher here 
um, in these stocks. We've held support levels well. We continue to show strength, that possibility that we could push on out. Uh, very strong charts here in Lowe's. Also, Home Depot, just a little bit more struggle here with Home Depot, but it's been holding up quite well. Um, notice that we have this little downtrend here that we've actually broken, and that little higher low that created was created right there. So that opportunity that this could pop up, and you can see this morning, we're getting a little lift on that so Home Depot could be moving up with the rest of the market. So there's a few charts for you to look at. There's lots of things, um, a lot of other things out there to look at. You know, take a look at uh, gold miners, um, take a look at uh, copper miners, FCX, holding nice trends, moving up, breaking through resistance levels, holding support levels. Keep an eye on those if they can continue to find that bullishness here in the market. Um, some of those may continue to rise. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have some suggestions or ideas for the videos, please feel free to leave those in the comments. Y'all take care. Have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.